morning. Oh, and welcome to my daily walk. Life on our beef and animal farm here in South Yorkshire. It's looking like a nice day yet again. We got a bit of drilling to finish off. We got a lot of spraying to do and fertilizer spreader to put on as well. So all the jobs are coming at once. Now that thing has come out and into the sky. Let's feed some cows first though. So. Right, so we just get the doors open. Now jump on the straw blower down there. Get started with that. The straw blower is running. Yeah, we've got all these done and these guys are eating away. If it's your first time watching a video from us, then we bed our cattle down every day. No matter what day it is, Christmas day, we bed them down and we feed them twice a day. So once in the morning and then once in the, uh, the afternoon. So um, yeah, we like to look after his cattle because basically looking after them means that they're looking after us. They're paying the bills, aren't they? Um, they are number one priority here. Right, we'll jump on the new nine meter. We'll do a few more bales. And I'm just waiting to go in the pens because Noah's just tipping off the mix. There's a bit of a dead time. So you what, it's nice being able to look out of this window and, uh, and see what's happening. And somebody said, why do we have the bars on the, um, on the nine meters or the external bars? Well, I'm guessing that like when you get over seven meters or something, you have to have the bars on. There's a bit of like extra security precaution. I mean, you know what it was like. Ben dropped a dropped a bale on top of here. This window smashed in the old one, and um, yeah, it uh, it just if something falls from up there, you want a bit of protection on the job. Not great for camera in though, because you got you know all these bars to contend with. But you know what? Safety has to has to prevail. So I'm just waiting for. We had to get out of here and we'll straw all these up on this Sunday. Try and clean windows. Just giving some to these little fellas that are outside. Keep them bedded up nice. That's it, we're empty. Tell you one of the features in here that I am absolutely loving. Oh! Beautiful! Don't think old one had that. And uh, it's quite yeah, it's quite nice to have a little armrest. The luxury, eh? The luxury. What I'm not loving though is that every time you want to lock the pins or unlock them, you have to hold the button in, right? Which is a bit. It's going to be for me now. Which is, I don't think that's as safe as what's on the TM, where if you press um, the auxiliary, it will instantly lock the pins. I could see people being lazy, picking stuff up with a headstock, not locking it on because they're thinking, oh, you know, I'm only going to be moving a few meters. Well, yeah, yeah, I think that's, I think that's a backward step, that JCB. Right, so I'm off spraying now. Sunday traffic, eh? It's a fair bit of it. So I've got into the field now. We were spraying on the live yesterday, in here. So we'll get back to the point where we ran out and we'll start again. Now we're spraying those low drift nozzles doing a cracking job. So when I drilled this field, I tried my best to set it up around this pole. I think I just got it set off it. Because there is another pole over there. I think, I think this time I miss it, next time I've just got to go around it a little bit. So as you can see, I've just come past the pole and the um, the brake back just breaks back around it, nice and steady. And then we're back back up to it, so we get them dot leaves there. Just go in there, we want to kill them, yeah. By the time we get to this post though, it's not going to snap around it, so... Um, I think I'll fold up, because I've got time. Next year I ought to do it another, another one and a half metres this way, and it'll probably get around them both of them. So we're going to fold it in like that, get the other side, have to go a bit past because that swings out, then we're back up to the post and off we go again. 
We're back in the yard now, now it's going to mix it. We'll uh, go and get some barley sprayed now. It depends on the drill, he's finishing that job off um, that didn't get done last night, so we're going to do that. I think my dad might even be going ploughing when the mixer's dropped off. So every, all systems are going now, the sun shines out. Filled up and uh, we'll get on our way now to spray some more fields. Get some more done, tick them off and then job's easy. Now we're in a nice auto steer, auto steer should I say straight line here yeah it's a nice feel is this one actually got some size to it boost what a view from the office it's lovely and still as well the trees aren't even aren't even moving perfect conditions it's looking all right it's barley now it's had a bit of nitrogen on it look at that boost Windmill in the background. So glad we got that part to fix this because I was going to have to wait until like Monday to get spraying again if that was even possible, even if they had the part in at the uh, place. So I am well happy. Everything's working, all the nozzles are working perfect, and um, we should be able to get everything I need to get sprayed this time round done today, barring any big accidents. So I have ran on this tram line before, and obviously I've when I was drilling it, I've not activated the tram liner until a little bit further up up there. But just look at the way that barley can just come back. You know, you know, you struggle to see where the tram line was. Um, yeah, nature has its abilities, doesn't it, to uh, to bounce back from things, and it, it has done that. Oh, it's very wet on this headland. I'm starting to wish that I hadn't bothered spraying it yet. Really, the driver's going to be happy with me. So I think there's going to be some ruts up this end. To be fair, it's not made that bad a job on here. I could just feel it slipping a little bit. So there will be a little bit of a rut, but not, not like a deeper than the tyre kind of rut. But I've just had my... Uh, Sunday dinner. Yes, you guessed it. Beef, um, Yorkshire puddings, and all the vegetables and stuff. As always, every Sunday is the same here. You can't have a Sunday dinner without beef, I don't think. Um, I've got a fair bit more spraying to do, so we'll get that sorted now, and we'll get back off to the field. Right, we're ready to get off um, to another field now. Gate is opening. in this 6.9 but sometimes when I got the fan on it doesn't come on so I have to turn the tractor on and off again and then the fan starts working so I've just turned it back on now and it's working fine but all the way here I had to have the window open Bazaar. so if you know what all that is about then please let me know and hopefully it's something simple I can get fixed but I mean the majority of the time it just comes back on so I suppose it's not really an issue it's just knowing that what to do when it, when it doesn't work and that's what you do when you spend so much time in one tractor and you have little things wrong with them you sort of know to do x y and z and get it right um just when somebody else jumps in and they're like i've got no air conditioning all day and all they have to do is turn it on and off yeah we do it being sorted really anyway oh look isn't that wonderful a grow tent in the gear corner of the field fantastic you know what i think we'll put the drone up and uh, get some shots because I love playing with drone. Come on, let's get it up in sky.
put drone down and this is where I could do I could do with it. Obviously tram line's not being put in. It's like I've decided to drive up there initially and then I've gone across, so I'm guessing I need to be across. Hopefully. Mm. It looks atrocious, doesn't it, from the uh, from the sky this field. I don't know if it's the rolling or it just went in wet. It's one of them years, nowhere looks fantastic. We've got a real wet headland up there in the corner. Wet wet in the bottom corner over there is actually a pond in that. Um, but at least the majority of it is here and it's got a head start over some spring barley. Um, so yeah, I can't, I can't grumble too much in this year. So we've got this block done now. Um, I've not got many, I've, well, I've got a few litres left. I've got a couple more fields to do, but I've got no chemicals. So we're gonna part this up, get some more tomorrow and go drilling. So where my dad's plowing um, in the gun embankments, the one that's the horrible shape field. We're gonna go there and um, yeah, continue drilling and hopefully get that finished. And all spring barley then will be done, I think. Yes, it will. All right, so I've just filled up the drill. We'll just shut the door down and be on his way. So i am finally got here. We had a bit of a um, an, an issue getting to the field. It was, uh, yeah, it was um, parked cars <laughs> that were a bit of an issue, but everybody's all friendly, you know, you just gotta go at these things friendly. People move out where it's all good. We're here, we're gonna start work. I think it's a bit wet, really, to be drilling this, but um, I suppose we don't got really a lot of time to wait for it to dry. It needs to go in now or it's not gonna go in. It is going in though, to be fair. It's not looking too shabby. I think it gets drier, it looks to be drying out. It'd have been better maybe tomorrow, I think, but it's right, it's going in, it's covering seed. So it's getting later on in the day, I've got to a few long runs, so I might actually be able to edit this video. When I get in the short ones, it's like, I've got no chance. So, this is where I'm going to leave it. If you have liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already, because that massively helps grow the channel. And if you want the merchandise, sporting the business uh, polo at the minute, then um, head over to joeseals.com or click some of the links that are behind, uh, below Sorry, this video. Um, that's it, really. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.